This is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about how to use NG on changes whenever there is a parent child communication. And I have discussed about life cycle hooks in my previous video. I'll provide the link in the description. For, please watch that for better understanding. So, in our previous videos, I didn't explain NG on changes because their NG on changes will be triggered only whenever there is a parent child communication. So, in this video, we will learn completely about NG on changes and what is the priority of NG on changes, why we need to use NG on changes, and when we have to use NG on changes when there is a parent child communication, and what are the different scenarios which we can cover in NG on changes. So, let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So, here I have created a basic application which contains two components that is app component and a child component app is a parent component and child is a child component i have discussed about the parent and child communication in my previous video please watch my previous video for better understanding and let me go to the app dot component dot ts and here we have a parent title and this parent title is passed to my app dot component dot html and from here the parent title will be passed to your child component that is child.ts where it is having an input decorator so it is having a capability to receive some data which is passed from my parent and then it will be shown on your child.html this is what which we have discussed in my previous video and let's see the demo first so go here and reload now you will be getting parent data updated for example if i remove that updated as a keyword and save this go here you have updated it with parent data that means we are able to send the data from your parent to child and now for example let me consider one scenario how to know whether that particular title has been changed or not for that sake we can use something called as ng on changes now when we have to use and where we have to use ng on changes first thing is where we have to use whenever your component is having some at the rate input decorators then only you can use ng on changes if you see app.component.ts we don't have any of the input decorators hence we cannot use ng on changes on app component whereas the child component is having one input decorator and hence we can use ng on changes and now how to use ng on changes for using an ng on changes we have a interface called as on changes is my interface and this is having an inbuilt method called as ng on changes and it will receive one parameter that is nothing but a changes which is of type simple changes and what does that simple changes will do we'll see and let me save this now let me write one console console.log of and this is ng on changes let me use a console log with this is ng on changes go to the browser and inspect this go to the console clear it off and reload now if you see this is ng on changes that means our ng on changes has been triggered once so let me go back and for example if you don't have an input decorator and also you are not passing any of the data from your html of parent let me remove this and save here now we don't have any of the input decorator in my child and we are not passing any of the data to my child so let me reload and here you are not able to see that console by this we can understand we cannot use ng on changes without an input decorator in a particular component so let me revert this back and revert this back now point number two when we have to use ng on changes in general whenever we are passing a data to my child component without any changes that means whatever the data passed from parent to child if we want to render as it is then don't use ng on changes ng on changes is used to manipulate the data when you receive some data from your parent and showcase on your html of child i'll repeat it again so here you will be sending some data from your parent to child and the data which you are sending from parent to child and if you want to manipulate that content in your child and display on your html of child then you can use ng on changes let me give an example so here in this case the first case is we are sending a title and it will display the title in your child that is straightforward approach but for example let me go to the html let me create one input element and where I will pass some data. For example, I am using a placeholder enter value in meters. 
So just I am passing some meters to this input field and now what it should do is it should pass some meters data to your child. So for that sake we will be using a ng model which will have a two way data binding. Now let me create that binding with one variable. So meters model colon it is of type number and by default it should have zero. So let me save this and go to the meters model let me copy this and pass it to ng model and save this and you are seeing one error here because we are using ng model but we have not imported that particular module let me go to app.module.ts and check whether you have forms module no not at all imported so let's import forms module and save this now errors has been gone and let me close this module and now we are able to pass some data to my input field which is having a two-way data binding whenever I type something on this meters then it will trigger the two-way data binding and it will update this meters model now this meters model I want to send it to the child let me go to the TS and create one element which will accept this meters value let me name it as meters value which is of number and by default the value is zero that is also absolutely fine and now here we are sending the meters value as zero now to have the capability to receive something from the parent then you need to have input decorator so let me use input decorator and save this now whatever the data you are typing on the input field that will update your meters model and that meters model will be passed to your child by using a property binding so now what is the property binding name the binding name is meters value and the value which we need to pass is meters model value so whatever the model we are entering that modal value should be passed to my child and it will receive in this particular meters value and let me go to the child.html here let me use a paragraph where it will be converting meters into centimeters the value of meters into centimeters should be inside your meters value let me save this by default it is zero and we are not doing any manipulations as of now straight forward we are sending some data which is entered in the input field and we are showing in the ui let me go here and for example you are entering some value like 10 the 10 is displayed and we are not doing any of the manipulations for example if i want to convert this meters into centimeters then how can i do that let me go to the visual studio and now let me go to the ts here we have a ng on changes now this ng on changes is very very useful why because we are changing some data in my parent and that parent will send some data to your child and the child should receive it and manipulate it before rendering so just how to access that particular elements to access that elements or the changes we have a property called as changes which is simple changes what that simple changes will contain let's see go here and if you see here the simple changes contains a meter value and a title value and why we are having two properties actually speaking the changes whatever the changes we are using in the simple changes they are the collection of all the different types of input decorators for example here we have two input decorators so that is the reason we are seeing two special objects inside these changes that is meters value object and title value object now for the first time whenever the application is loaded these two are getting changed and hence ng on changes is called with these two properties let me go here and check each and every property in each and every property we have the current value first change and previous value so first change will decide whether it is a first on load trigger of child element or not and current value will define you the current value which is passed and the previous value will define you what is the previous value which we are having or holding in our particular input decorator element and let me go to the title this is also same first time it is first change and current value is parent data and the previous value is undefined because this is a first change and let me clear it off now what I'll do is I'll not change any of the title decorator or title variable now I'll change only the value which is regarding my input field let me pass 10 and if you see whenever I 
enter some value in my input field immediately that particular changes are calling and if you see these changes you are seeing only one property why because this is the second time which we are changing only that specific property and if you open this the previous value is zero and the current value is empty because whenever it is empty it was empty and in the last element you can see the previous value is one and the current value is 10 why it is showing in the string we don't want to have in the string format we are sending some value in the number format so go here go to the html and just add the type as number so that you will be receiving the number itself let me clear it off and let me go back now the value is null the current value is null and the previous value is zero because we have removed that zero value and let me hit one and the current value will be one and the previous value is null so whenever we don't have a value in that particular specific elements we are using null now we are receiving some current value and that current value should be manipulated before rendering on the ui so how can i do that so already if you see here we are able to get the values inside these changes so let me assign this to my meters value is equal to changes dot meters value dot let me consider my current value into 100 that will be equal to your centimeters so now the current value will be received in meters that will be multiplied with your 100 and it will send you meters value and that meters value can be displayed on your html let me go here and clear it off let me enter some value like 10 10 meters will be equal to 1000 centimeters and if i give 12 then 1200 centimeters so it is converting as expected but here there is a problem what the problem let's understand that is nothing but error handling so you have to know how to handle the things easily in your input decorator for example here we have one problem that is whenever i remove everything the value of the meters value is always null so we have to check whether the current value is null or not then only you do your operation so how can i check that go to the ts file and if this dot meters value dot and what is the value of that current value that is equal to this one let me copy this current value if that current value exists then only i need to do this operation and this should be not on the class level variable it should be on the changes dot meters value so let me save this now it's absolutely fine we have checked it and whenever there is a current value available then only go and change the value else we have to make it as a default value something like meters value is equal to zero let me save this and go back it works as expected and now let me give a value as 10 and if you see here it is 1000 and if i remove all the data then it is showing zero and absolutely fine now another case so here we are checking only for the meters value for example if i go to the html let me create one button in my parent component so let me use click event on my parent button and change my title change title is my method change title and now in this let me go to my ts and use this method for updating my parent title to some other title something like sample update parent save this and if you see here let me go and you have something called as change title whenever i click on this change title this parent data need to be updated and even at this particular time it has to call one particular element that is nothing but a changes element or an attribute of ng on changes let me click on this change title and if you see here can't read the properties of undefined reading current value why it is happening i'll tell you the problem let me go to the ts file here you are accessing the current value from your meters value so by the time just comment for a while so that you will understand why we are getting that particular issue so go here and let me reload and now let me 
click on this change title if you see here the the title is the only property which exists on that changes why because we are changing only title not the number so whenever you are not changing this meters value that means the second property of an input decorator then this value will be undefined and whenever it is undefined we are trying to access the current value whenever i change the title it will not have meters and whenever i change the meters it will not have the title property so it is our responsibility to check which value is changing and on change of some particular value which logic should be performed in this case we can handle by checking the meters value for example if you have the meters value and changes dot meters value dot current value if meters value exist and then check the current value if this both condition satisfy then only perform my meters logic else do not perform anything for example let me go here and clear it off and reload let me click on the change title now you are getting only the title property which is passed and if you see the current value and the previous value they are as usual and this is not the first change this is the change happening by our manual clicking or manual code so this is how you need to handle everything let me revise and summarize whole concept of ng on changes point number one to remember so ng on changes is used to receive some changes whenever the change happen to your input decorator ng on changes will have one property called as changes property which will hold all your changes which are happening to your input element so that means if you have two input decorators then the two input decorators will be accessed in this changes object and the changes object each and every input decorator will have three properties that is previous value current value and first change first change will be true whenever the application or the component is loaded and the second time it will be always false and always we need to check whether the changes happen to a particular input decorator or not before performing some logic related to that particular input decorator for example in this case we are checking meters value if meter value exists and then only do some xyz operation why because the changes will not have all the changes every time the changes property will always hold the current changes which happen to a particular input decorator for example if the change is happening to the title decorator then the changes object will contain only the title object whereas if it is changing only the meters value then it will hold only meters value changes if you do multiple input decorators are updated at a time then it the changes will hold all the multiple properties which has been changed it is very very important to handle all this if condition and conditional basis on your ng on changes and when when this can be used more this is a small scenario which i have explained for example there is a row there is a table which contains 10 rows on clicking on a particular row we need to send some id to your child component and whenever that child is triggered then you need to call an api call if this is the scenario if you are not handling the conditional basis between your previous and the current value then if i click a particular row that is with an id 1 10 times then 10 api will be called so it is mandatory to check whether the previous value and the current value are different or not whenever there is a different ids or the values then only call the api if you receive the same type of id then do not call the api so that are the different categories which we can use on ng on changes and we will continue in the next video how ng on changes behave whenever you have an object and also i want to let you know about techzet techzet is a platform on medium where you can learn all the backend stuff mainly it is focused on the adobe experience management magento as well as osgi along with the basics of java and you can see this link framework completely so just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this medium blog if you like please like share follow media blog so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you